Some people live by a code. Mine is to treat my friends with kindness and treat my enemies with kindness too. Cause I'm trying to be nice here, but other people are into computer coding, which is fun too. This is New York City. They say if you make it here, you can make it anywhere. And I can only assume that it is making code. Which is why I'm here to meet the CEO of Girls Who Code, Dr. Tarika Barrett. I come to this space first and foremost as, you know, an educator, and I've worked in issues of ed reform my entire life, and I have been so blessed to have a mom who instilled in me really early the importance of mentorship and also fighting for equity and going into spaces and believing that I could be the change I wanted to see. The change Tarika wants to see? More women in computer science fields. As of 2020, girls made up 34% of high school computer classes, but only 21% of graduates with computer science degrees are women. What is the absolute dream, the pinnacle <laughs> for girls who code? What's your best case scenario? Okay, our best case scenario is always world domination. Okay. And in terms of what that looks like, it means that our girls are leading the way in tech. It means that we're not looking at a 26% representation of women in the tech workforce. We're not seeing tiny numbers, especially for our black and brown young women. In fact, our goal is gender parity. One industry Tarika hopes to bring this equality to is the video game development space. We know that right now, most of these game developers are men. And if you think about it, the images of women in games, right? They're unrealistic. Tell me, do you think anyone is going to fight off zombies and, you know, in wearing a crop top? That's what we're dealing with when we think about the games that we have. So Tarika's team spent months coding a platform that would put the power back in young women's hands. And to show me how it works, Tarika introduces me to a program graduate, Aisha. So Aisha, how did you get into the world of computer science? Did you always know you wanted to code? I think initially I was put off going into computer science, not seeing the role models to project my career onto. I felt that um, initially going into my computer science classes, there really wasn't a lot of women there. But when I went outside of that class, I saw the women walking around on my campus. So I knew that there was a community um, at my school of uh, young women and non-binary people who might be interested in coding. And um, I, I want to be involved in uh, making uh, programming more accessible to women. Are there opportunities that have opened up to you as a result of having learned how to code? Something I'm especially interested in, um, looking at how we can make even um, web interfaces more accessible to people um, who have disabilities or visual impairment. Aisha gives me a first-hand view at what inclusivity looks like, using code to generate an avatar in her own likeness. From the clothing she wears to her body shape, she can even control things like hair texture. What I found really interesting was the different um, skin types. You really don't see things like vitiligo on other um, no. video game characters. With a few more clicks, Aisha creates an open source coded hero that's ready to conquer a video game's universe. Tarika and Aisha believe that by giving young women a platform to design their own heroes, they can create a better future for video game developers. One where all genders have an equal seat at the table. I think I had kind of disregarded coding for me just because I thought I was kind of doesn't suit my skill set. But looking at this now, it might not be too late for me. It's never too late to learn how to code. Well, thank you so much to you both for teaching me about everything you do here at Girls Who Code. And thank you especially for giving me my new favorite nickname, Edgy Angel. I love it. Bye, Edgy Angel. <laughs> Take care, y'all. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.